Hi, third graders. Let's check our work for language arts, possessive pronouns, pages 334 and 335. And remember, possessive means something belongs to a person or a thing. And a, pr a pronoun is a word that is replacing the noun, like I, you, we, me, they, us. It. So those would be pronouns, and then possessive would mean something belongs to those pronouns. So let's look at the rules box. A possessive pronoun takes the place of a possessive noun. A possessive pronoun shows who or what owns something. So possessive means owning something. So for example, Al's favorite book. So we have the name Al, we have the apostrophe S showing possession, and instead of saying Al, we can replace Al with his, and it still shows that something belongs to Al, his favorite book. The only difference is we don't have an apostrophe on the possessive pronoun, so you don't need the apostrophe S for the pronoun. Let's look over here, the book's cover. Well, the book owns something. It owns a cover. That's why we have an apostrophe S. So if we replace the word book with it, and we have S at the end, then it would be its cover. Not an apostrophe S, because an apostrophe S would be it is cover. So that when you have a possessive pronoun, they do not need an apostrophe S. So let's look um, down here. Use these possessive pronouns before the nouns my, your, your, his, her, its, our, your, or their. For example, your book is on the shelf. So we're using the word your showing that something belongs to you. It's your book. And then we use these possessive pronouns alone. So when they're by themselves, mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, or theirs. That book is mine. So remember, this is standing alone. Up here, it's saying your book. So what belongs to you? Your book. Down here, it doesn't have the book after it. It says just uh, the pronoun alone, mine. Okay, let's look down here, the directions. Tell which is the correct possessive pronoun in parentheses. Example, that dictionary is your or yours. Well, since it's going to be standing alone, we're going to use the word yours, and you can see that up here in the example. Use the possessive pronouns that stand alone. Yours would be the correct one. So number one, what is your or yours favorite story? So what's going to belong to you? Your story. So you're going to use your. Number two, the tale about a lost bear is her or hers. Well, this stands alone, so we're going to circle hers. And again, that's up here. Pronouns that stand alone, it's up here. Um, number three, he loses her or his way in the forest. Well, look here, we have he. So we need to use his to match. Number four, a friendly wolf comes to his or their rescue. So a friendly wolf is rescuing one thing because it's um, talking about the lost bear. So we're using his rescue. Number five, that new book is... My or mine would be mine because mine would stand alone up here. Num oh, so that's number one through five. So we're going to look now at the directions for six through 15. The directions say to write each sentence, use the correct pronoun in the parentheses. So just write this sentence and use the, the correct word when you write it. Is that storybook one of our or ours? It would be ours because ours would stand alone. If you look over here on the other page, ours is when the uh, pronoun stands alone. Number seven, my favorite tale is an adventure story 
or mine favorite tale is an adventure story. It would be my, because what belongs to me, my favorite tale. Number eight. Our or ours class has read the story. It would be our, because it's our class has read the story. Number nine. The story is about a woman and her or his horse. Remember, a woman is a her. It's a she, actually, and that would show that something belongs to her, which is her horse. Number 10, their or theirs home is out west. Their, because their has the noun right after it, their home. What belongs to them? The home. Number 11, I read the book to our or ours class. The our class, because what belongs to us is our class. Number 12, you can read yours or your book now. It would be your, because the what we have is right after it, your book. 13, Black Beauty is a favorite book of my or mine. It would be mine, because nothing comes after it, and it would be standing alone. So here's the rule for that one. 14, the book about a princess is your or yours. It'd be yours because again, it's standing alone and it would be yours. 15, when did the princess ride that horse of hers? Because nothing is after it, so it's standing alone. So it would be used as hers. All right, boys and girls, good job checking your work. Make sure your name, page number, and the date are on the top of your paper. Put it in your red reading folder, and I will collect it from uh, you during our next folder exchange. Good job, boys and girls. We'll see you next time.